Let's kick things off with New Era. They dropped this collection called Tritone Brown. And just a little side note, I'm definitely happy to see them naming their collections and packs. I was getting a little tired of just caps, drop 15, 16, 23, so on and so forth. Tritone Brown is definitely something that I can remember. The numbers get confusing. So basically, these are kind of like pinwheel hats. You have a light brown, medium brown, and dark brown on the crown. The visor is that same medium brown. And then it actually says a metallic gold UV. I don't think that the stock photos are probably doing it justice, but the hats are clean. Looks like a flat baddie on the back. You have some gold accents in there, as well as the side patch and the front logos. This Cubbies, this Cubbies is cold. I like the gold placement. There's also a good matchup of front logos and side patches, which I feel like can really make or break a collection. Let's take a look at the Houston Astros. Okay. Nice side patch, Broken Star front logo. Not bad, not bad. And these did drop this morning, so there's plenty of sizes still on the website. Here's a nice Phillies. All right, this one's, you know, this one's not a home run, but it's nice. The Yankees is also a little flat for me. I feel like this would have been a great hat to use that 99 side patch on, but it's all right. The Toronto Blue Jays is a real good one. People love this front logo side patch combination. So definitely take a look at that one if you're into the Blue Jays. Great placement of the colors. New Era is in their bag. And while we're talking about New Era, I did want to talk about Walnut Sky, which is another recent New Era collection. Y'all already know that Cubs is calling my name. I don't go crazy for the animal logos, but something about that scruffy bear Cubs, it gets me every time, almost every time almost every time. Brown and blue make a great color combination, especially that light blue, that sets it off. Flat baddie on the back, got some more gold, white in the middle, brown on the opposite side. That might have to come home. Here's the Yankees. Good, good color placement on these hats. New Era is definitely stepping it up. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Right now, we are getting into upcoming hat releases. If you want another upcoming hat releases video, this week on Friday, smash that like button. If I get 200 likes on this video before Friday, I will drop a new upcoming hat releases this week. So let's go ahead and get into it. And that's on top of the video that I already have planned for Friday. So now we're gonna get into the Hat Club Mech Pack. This Mech Pack actually dropped yesterday and it was inspired by Gundam. So down below in the comment section, if Gundam was one of the cartoons that you grew up with, sound off in the comment section. For me personally, it wasn't one that I watched growing up. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Um, Gundam is something that I got into much, much later. Like once I started going to Comic-Con and stuff and I saw people building them at Comic-Con, that's when it took off for me. Cause I was like, oh, that's dope as hell. But the actual cartoon, I really only gotten into Mobile Suit. I haven't watched like OG Gundam, just Mobile Suit. Inspiration aside though, the hats are cold. So there's two colorways in this pack. You have the white domes, which are white crowns, the blue top bills, red UVs. And then you have kind of like this royal blue and peach joint, which is a two-tone as well. As I said earlier, these did drop yesterday. So as you can imagine, some have already sold out. Cubbies, gone. Blue Jays, people was going crazy for that. Blue Jays, gone. Like I said, very popular Toronto Blue Jays front logo side patch combo. Seattle Mariners are still in the game. Cardinals still in the game. The Stompers still in the game, which is very interesting because I feel like this time last year, Stompers, you, <laughs> it was hard to get a hold of a Stomper. The second Toronto Blue Jays of the pack, the Strong Bird. So if you're interested in any of these that are left, Get on it because there aren't that many sizes left. Let me know down below in the comment section if you copped and I do have my Hat Club affiliate link if you wanna use that and help out the channel. We are gonna switch gears a little bit and we are gonna get into Extra Butter and their fitted hat releases. Now, Extra Butter doesn't normally drop fitted hats, but they did drop some 5950s and some 5950 low profile. And I know that 5950 low profile is kind of far and few in between at this point. So I wanted to at least show these to y'all because I feel like their low profile hats done right. There's two colorways, there's beef and broccoli and there's mocha, which we'll take a look at in a second. This is the beef and broccoli two-tone, forest green on the crown, brown top bill, gray UV, white guts. Really nice hats in my opinion. I love the colorway. It's something that we've seen before and we know does well. So I don't think they did anything 
out of the box, but sometimes that's a good thing. Here's the low profile mocha match joint. There is a low profile and regular 5950 in each colorway for each team of the Yankees and the Mets. So you do have your choice of flavors. This one is a brown crown, black top bill, green UV white guts. So that's extra butter and those hats are available right now. Now we're gonna take a look at Sports World. They dropped a space pack, also two colorways. I kinda like it when you get packs and collections with two different distinct colorways. So this one is an olive crown, navy top bill, orange UV. And then the second colorway is like a blue crown, aqua top bill, orange UV. I personally think that both of the olive joints go crazy. That Mets and the Detroit Tigers, they knocked it out of here with that one. That side patch on the Angels, A++ patchwork. That is a great looking patch. I love the way that all these colors meld together. None of them look out of place. For me personally, this is a 10 out of 10 ECAP City drop. Yes, there are some teams that I'm not really a fan of and front logos that I don't really pay attention to, but as far as like the execution of the hats, the colors, the color placement, 10 out of 10. There's a little bit for everybody. These hats are dope. So the stars of the drop, in my opinion, definitely gonna be the Texas Rangers, the Cubs. I think the, yep, that Cubs right there. Got the gold in there. Scruffy bear face. Y'all know I love that front logo. Some red really pops off the green. This is the Texas Rangers that I was talking about. I love that navy blue and brown combination. The red just pops off of that. That copper stitching, it looks like, goes crazy. That hat is a 10 out of 10. San Bernardino Spirit, Cole. Like, that's three hats right there that are a must cop. So Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, I will be on the ECAP City website. For you caps, it's dropping some hats tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. So when you're seeing this video, a little bit after should be the For You Caps drop. And you know, the Braves and the Tampa Bay Rays, they're cool. But let's take a look at that Pirates because that one, that's the star of the show. That Pirates right there, crucial, gas. I don't know how many other ways you want me to say it, but that Pirates, really, really nice hat. Heroes versus Villains coming from Lids HD, Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern online. And then of course they will have their in-store drop because if you didn't know, Lids HD actually does have a physical location now in Jamaica, Queens, which I think is pretty cool. It's been a while, a long time since I've been out to Jamaica, Queens, but maybe I'll go one day, pick something up, I don't know. So the Villains colorway is the purple joint. These are purple crown, black top bill, icy UV. And then you have the Heroes joints, which are a little bit of a sneaky two-tone, like a brown on the crown and then a lighter khaki for the top bill. It's definitely more noticeable in hand in these photos than in some of the other stock images. But I think it's pretty cool. I like the color placement. I like the switch of the eyelets that they did. So in this photo right here, you could definitely see the contrast between like the brown crown and that blue colored UV. And in this photo, you can also see it. It's a very bright blue on the UV of the Heroes pack. The Villains pack is more of like an icy blue. Not sure if I'll be going for this one personally, just because there's a lot of other hats that I'm looking at this week. Capsule hats, they had two drops recently. So let's take a look at the website. They had these um, green apple joints and a pinstripe Yankees. Not really a fan of either, if I'm being honest. Not bad hats, just not really, um, you know, hitting for me necessarily. You have this Yankee, a very, very vibrant green on the crown and the top bill. Peach undervisor, and it looks like peach on the front logo as well. And then you have like that bitten apple uh, capsule pin. I feel like these hats would probably look really good dressed up, but on their own, I don't know. They just kind of fall flat and I'm used to a little bit more coming from capsule. The pinstripe Yankees. I love that it's a gray bottom. Maybe some more traditional collectors would like this. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section. Not really for me. So I think I'm going to be passing on Capsule Hats this week. Last week, still, which is still.ca if you're looking for the website because it is located in Canada. Drop some corduroy pink bottoms. The Dodgers is gone. That one flew. But the Yankees is actually still in stock. So here's a look at that. Corduroy all over, crown top bill, pink bottom. And then you also have some pink and a little bit of gold. It kind of looks like in the side patch and some white, of course. 
It's a clean hat, especially if you like corduroy. Anthem Canada, I think it's been a minute since I included them in an upcoming hat releases video, but they've been dropping some heat, so I had to make sure that they were in this video. You have a Dodgers. This is called Tropic Tan. You got the Script D on the front. World Series Champions 2020 side patch. Gray UV. I like this one. This Mets is a good look too, kind of like a dark aqua on the crown. It says the top visor color is burnt wood. Go ahead and take a look at that. Kind of looks like a very dark, like maroon to me, but um, I don't know, it's called Burnt Wood. I think it's a nice combo. Brown front logo, take a look at that side patch. We have the Angels, I like the colors on this one. A nice Milwaukee Brewers, I really like this one, okay. Off-white crown, green UV, can't go wrong with that. Fam Cap Store, another overseas fitted hat store, so you're gonna need a reshipper if you're located in the US. They're dropping this trio of hats tomorrow. You can take a look at the release info right above my head. I'm not a big fan of the Astros or the Orioles hats in this pack, but that Toronto Blue Jays, that one is nice. I wonder why they didn't do all three in that colorway, because I feel like that colorway goes way harder than the Houston and the Orioles, but that's just my personal opinion. Some people might feel the opposite. Pro Image Sports Colorado has these four hats coming up. It's called the People's Drop. These are gonna be releasing on Saturday, the 21st, 12 p.m. Mountain Time on the website, 10 a.m. in store. You can see that they all incorporate like a real tree camo. The Atlanta Braves has it on the top bill. The Seattle Mariners has it on the crown. You have some repetitive stitching on the Pirates and then the real tree for the UV. The Colorado spring training hat also has the camo for the UV. And when it comes to camo, Realtree is the best camo. So let me know down below in the comment section if you're interested in any of those hats. Future reference, you dropped the coffee pack. Now this was last week, but the hats are sitting and I think they look good. So of course I have to throw it into today's video. This is the Diamondbacks, kind of like a khaki crown, blue top bill, gray UV, clean. I like the colors inside the snake. I like the colors inside the side pad. Now this Dodgers right here is the best out of the pack in my opinion. You have that off-white crown with that maroon or like burgundy top bill and front logo. Kind of reminds me of the Panna Cotta from Hat Club. Really nice color combination. Mud bottom, super nice. The 60th anniversary side patch. That is a great hat right there. This is another really nice one. I like that toasted brown like peanut on the crown. Red top bill, red button on top. You got the metallic gold stitching in there. It's a really good hat. Gray UV. Cap King USA has been dropping a lot of hats recently. What I want to talk about is the Crep Cafe collection that they did because I think the Mets and the Dodgers are both really nice hats. Tri-color Mets logo. You have the gold, some brown, I believe that is, and then mint. And this hat does have a mint UV. Gold in the side patch, a little bit of mint in there just to set it off. Nice hat. The Dodgers is a pink UV, gold outline around the Dodgers front logo, some pink in the side patch. These hats look great and they're sitting on the website full size run just about. There's a variety of other hats on here as well. You kind of have like a yellow and navy Detroit Tigers, this um, navy blue and khaki Yankees, a lot of different hats. It's like electric green and gray Yankees over here. Now we gonna move on to Sneaker Town. Sneaker Town's been dropping some heat consistently. They've been on a roll. You have a script Cubs. It's a nice side patch on that Cubs. Gray UV, orange, and navy Brewers. That's a nice hat. The gold in this one goes crazy though. The gold in this uh, Yankees, this beef and broccoli kind of like Yankees. That's dope. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.